Historical trauma is defined as a collective and cumulative wounding across generations that results from massive catastrophic events targeting a community. So historically traumatic events would be forced removal, relocation, boarding schools, slavery. There's almost uncountable massacres in the United States against Indian people, and that doesn't even begin to count what happened across the border, across the many borders. There's a whole body of science now that's beginning to show that the experiences of our environments actually become embodied. They can impact the genetic material surrounding our DNA. So the trauma is held personally as well as collectively, and it can be passed on through the generations. I remember the day that I was um, taken to Greyhound in Crown Point, New Mexico. I was 12 years old. Whole line of buses were in line when we went to the trading post, and that's where they put us in the bus and didn't tell us where we were going. I was crying, my mother was crying, my dad was angry. And I know that my mom had the roughest time with that. A lot of people that were there um, bringing their children were upset. And I was scared, confused. All of us were. And they took us. To this day, I remember my mom standing there crying. And we end up in a place called Inner Mountain, and that was in Utah. We were told that the way you live and the way you believe is not acceptable by us. We need to cut your hair. You cannot speak Navajo anymore. You're going to learn how to speak English. I had a long hair, and it got cut. The sadness that I felt, it was painful. I, I couldn't sleep. I was scared that something would happen while I'm asleep. I felt like I lost everything in terms of my family, my relatives, and I was in the middle of this place where even if I was to run away, I didn't know which way to go. I remember some people hanging themselves in the dormitory and things like that. Some kids ran away and didn't make it home. A lot of people got sick. I remember a few times that I was in trouble only because I opened my mouth to say something in Navajo. But you know, that did not affect me physically, but it affected me emotionally because I began to think like, what's wrong with me? There must be something wrong with me. But no matter what they said to me, I knew who I was. The teaching from my dad was very strong to the point where I think that kept me going all these years. At some point, you have to make up your mind that you're going to be in pain the rest of your life. and you got to search around, so how do I get rid of it? There's ways to do that. And a lot has to do with the spirituality. You'll never forget what happened, but you'll be in charge of that healing. We actually have our own mechanisms to interrupt that intergenerational transmission of trauma in a way that gets at the source of the wound. Narrative is one of the ways that we interrupt that direct line of the trauma to the outcome. And story for indigenous people is in our way of being. So we dance, we pray, and we speak, and we tell our stories. And we create things new. We define what being indigenous is now. Who we are is completely up to us. Thank you.